Hey guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMindBlocks. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to install Ubuntu for Windows. So the advantage of doing it this way, which is using the WSL, which is the Windows subsystem for Linux, is that it allows you to kind of have a virtual uh, Linux environment directly within Windows. So rather than using like VirtualBox uh, containers, uh, uh, general virtualization or like uh, VSPs, things like that. It just means that you can access it directly within Windows. So it's much easier for uh, file management and general overall usability. You'll also find that the performance is much better when you do it like this rather than using like VirtualBox, something like that. So um, I think it's really useful to, to use it like this. Um, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to install um, Ubuntu for Windows. Okay, so I'll take you through the process of installing Ubuntu on Windows using the WSL2 system. You'll be pleased to know it's really simple, just a couple of commands, and I'll guide you through the process uh, now. So you just wanna open up your browser. You can do a Google search. Uh, just search for WSL2 for Windows, and it'll take you to the official Microsoft uh, page. I'll put the link in the description, of course, make it everything super easy for you. So the command for installing WSL2 for Windows is this command here. And by default, it will install uh, Ubuntu for you. You can install other Linux distributions, but, but for simplicity, we're just going to stick with Ubuntu for today. So we just hit start and we open up the PowerShell. And then we're just going to paste our command in here which is WSL2 space hyphen hyphen install and hit enter. It'll ask for, for extra permissions. So we just click yes. So we're just gonna let this continue for a few minutes, uh, probably about actually five to 10 minutes for the initial installation process, and then a few minutes afterwards. So let's let that run for a, a moment. And again, we just want to give the application approval. So we click yes. Okay, so that's installed now. It's taken about 10 minutes. So once you're at this uh, final section here, you'll need to reboot the system um, and then it'll go through like a kind of second last part of the install and then you'll be ready to use uh, Ubuntu. So let's restart the machine now. So when your machine restarts, uh, log in like you normally would, and then you'll see a little pop-up that looks something like this. So this is kind of the final part of the installation. Uh, just let that run for, again for just a few more minutes. Okay, so that's completed now. It's asking us for a Unix username, so that it can be uh, anything we like. Let me just um, increase the font size here. Make it a little bit easier to read. So I'll just choose uh, Ubuntu and hit enter. And we need to choose a password. And enter. And retype it once more. Okay, so when you see your prompt at the bottom in green text, basically the installation is complete and you're ready to use it as normal. Um, so I'll just close it down just to show you how to open it up normally and then from there you can use it however you like. So just start and it's already there. So Ubuntu. Let's just adjust the text size again. So 
So in this case, we're already uh, logged in, but obviously if you do need to log in, you just use your username and uh, password. Your, you, uh, your password will also act uh, for your sudo commands as well. So if you ever have to use um, sudo privileges, it's the same uh, password. Okay, so with Ubuntu installed, you can access it and use it just the same way you would any normal, uh, regular Ubuntu terminal. So uh, if you want to check out your processes, it's uh, htop. There you can see your CPU usage, memory, all that sort of stuff. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a like. And if you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next video.